guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Cheers to you. Check that out. There's only a little bit left, as, as you can tell. Well, it's not as evident. I have a little sweat left over. I just got back from my run, and check this out. This is going to scare you. <laughs> I have hands of a four-year-old child, which is another reason why. Maybe it's kind of like I have nails. People go, why do you get your nails done? Um, it's kind of like wearing heels. I've done it since I was little because I was always, I don't know. Well, what girl doesn't like high heels? Not many. Anyway, very excited to report. I had a really, wow, really, I'm just gonna say it. Um, I had what could be interpreted as a really shitty week. Excuse my French, people, I'm sorry. Sometimes a girl's gotta swear, even on her vlog. Why am I talking about myself in third person? Um, I had a really, really, I mean, I don't even want to get into, like, telling you what happened, but it was kind of like, if cameras were following me around, if this was a reality show or a movie, you'd go, there's no way all that could happen to one person. Guess what? It's happened to me. Um, I don't want to make it up. I had more headaches. And uh, anyway, so yesterday was a day that... Let's just say, like, I, I was down, I don't even remember when I left to go downtown. It seemed like it was longer than it was. But I was downtown, I had so many meetings packed into so many, like, short time periods. And then, um, anyway, all that to say was that Friday, my day started at 7.30 in the morning. Which is usually when I'm just um, attempting to wake up from my glorious position on my couch, which those of you that know my current life right now, I sleep on my couch because of certain mutant people that I have to deal with. So usually I'm just waking up. Anyway, so my day started at 7.30 yesterday. I was not, I literally don't think I left my office until 5.30. It was literally nonstop. I mean, like I came out here, I don't remember what I got for, oh, you know what I had for lunch? Because of course I need to go grocery shopping. I was gone all week and <laughs> I didn't have any hummus or vegetables roasted or any of my usual stuff. So, and I didn't feel, I think that's what I did is I cooked some tempa in, I always feel funny pronouncing that word. It just sounds dorky, like whatever. So I made some of that in the pan and I just ate it with, um, cause I didn't feel, you know, I didn't feel like I'm, I'm so used to making my hummus salad dressing. And I was looking at some of these other dressings I had, and I'm like, I have no idea what that's going to taste like. So I didn't, I didn't have time to experiment. I just made some temp. And then I think I put some, um, I had some roasted chicken lunch meat, and I put that in a pan because I didn't want to eat it cold. And then I put some um, roasted uh, chipotle, I don't know, salsa on it or something. And I'm like, what, what am I doing? I'm just like eating what's in my fridge. It was the most unpleasurable lunch I've ever had. Could I be any more bitchy right now? Can you tell that Aunt Flo was standing right behind me? Bitch. Um, but at least I embrace the fact that I've been this way all week. Um, but anyway, so I just went on my run and give me a high five on that. Thank you. Give me a fist bump. Give me a double fist bump because I went on my um, route, which I have now measured is, it's, it's not just three miles, it's like three and a quarter. But I did it in 36 minutes and that's including, let me see if I did this right, that's including walking for probably about a song, which was, uh, you know, I need to get back to, apparently my friend at Polar is not writing me back. I have problems with my Polar, so I think it's time to buy something else. Um, but I, I I really need to be wearing my, um, something that I can track it with um, a little bit more accurately. But all that to say is, this is uh, my route that I do out in my neighborhood. So I started running and I ran it's, it's kind of like I know exactly, I go all the way up to this one street and that's a mile and a half and then I run back. So, you know, this time I started running and I was really at a good pace. Yes, I still start to always get the cramping right here underneath this rib, but I just, I kind of just focused on slowing down and on trying to regulate my breathing and I didn't stop every time it started. And I was able to at least make it tolerable. I don't want to say it went away. This, that's my biggest problem with running people is that damn, Sorry for all the swear words today. It's the cramping, but it really upsets me. I gotta get that book out, that she running book. Um, Cause it helped me get past this before. I was up to running, you know, an hour and I was fine. And that's what we gotta do. So I have no problem saying I'm gonna do it, but ran all the way to a mile and a half, stopped, 
walked for, I believe, 30 seconds and then ran all the way back. I ran the entire time. And based on what I timed myself at, again, it's not wearing my polar because it's not working and because someone's not getting back to me. Hint, hint, Chris. Um, my polar's not working, so, but based on what I timed myself with, um, I was doing a five minute, excuse me, five miles per hour, which is pretty good because I think for me right now in this phase, I've only been running what, like six times, six or seven times, um, 4.5 to five miles an hour is, is what I think I should be pacing myself at to be able to get the distance. You know, I'll work on getting faster later. I seriously don't know how some of you people, like Sarah K. Hoffman, I think she runs like eight miles per hour. I think I would be dying if I ran eight miles per hour, probably. Um, but anyway, I also forgot. This is what happens when you rush people, and, I, and it, it annoys me. When I get off, when I get off like my track, and I'm just frazzled, and I, which is this is what I don't want to do anymore. But it's just yesterday was a crazy day. I didn't do my workout yesterday. Full disclosure. Um, and uh, so today, and I'm just gonna let you know, there may or may not have been a cheeseburger involved in my life yesterday. So that means there were two cheeseburgers this week. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I didn't overeat the rest of the day around it. I kind of was like, okay, having this, this is what on flow is demanding and whatever. So it's time to tighten up. But you know, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing along the way. And um, this is not, you know, the difference is, is that if I would have done that maybe six to nine months ago, then it would have entailed me going, oh, well, I screwed it up. And then I would have picked out the entire day. And then I probably, you know, if I did that on Wednesday, not only would I not have worked out that day if I hadn't already. Um, you see what I'm saying? Like the mindset would have been like, oh, well, I've eaten something bad. I might as well use this as an excuse to keep eating bad because I'm not happy with my results. And then I might as well just feel sorry for myself and drown myself in food. This is not, like when I'm making choices to eat something now, it's not reactionary, and I'm certainly making sure I'm not doing that. Like whenever I get pissed off and I wanna eat, I'm slowing down to go, are you eating just because you're pissed off? No. Yesterday, I was freaking hungry, and certainly hadn't eaten enough during the day, I'll give myself that. But also, <laughs> ladies, for those of you that know, when it's a rough time of the month, there are certain times when your body just needs a certain kind of food. And for me, it always ends up being beef. It's always steak or a cheeseburger, always, period. So, all that to say, um, I'm, I, I also wanna make sure that I'm telling you guys so that you know, as I'm tracking my results, I have to count that in. Like, you know, the first three weeks, here's what I had to eat, here's how many workouts I did. This three weeks, you know, and, and here's my results. I'm interested to see, you know, does this three weeks when I had that, um, when I had those two cheeseburgers in it, is that gonna like make a big difference? Is it not gonna make a big difference? Do I think so? No. Does that mean that I wanna go every week and have a cheat meal? No. Um, but I'm just being a little bit, a lot more reasonable about things. So, what else was I gonna tell you? Um, I'm just so excited about my run today. And I have to go because I have a call in 20 minutes and then I get my nails done and uh, there's something else I was going to tell you. Um, I need to go grocery shopping. I freaking hate going grocery shopping. And my house is pretty much packed up. I found out uh, today that we should be set for July 5th closing date, which means I believe I'm going to have to set my move-in date before that, which means that I'm running out of time. Okay. So I have to make some calls. Um, dang, what else was I going to tell you guys? Whatever, I'll figure it out later. Um, but I will talk to you tomorrow. It's Saturday. My, I'm really out of it as far as what days are, that there are too. You know, what day it is this week? Co being downtown, I don't know why. You see how much sun I just got on my nose being outside? Um, because I was downtown this week. You know, I, when I came home, I came home Thursday night. Thursday night felt like Friday night. So like today, kind of feels like Sunday when it's Saturday. Don't you hate it when you have that in your head and you're like thinking it's another day? Do you ever watch my vlogs and go, my God, that girl can sit and ramble on about absolutely anything. You're damn right. But you keep tuning in for some ungodly reason. Are you hoping there's going to be a prize someday? Like all of a sudden, hey, guess what? Like all these spam emails I've been getting lately from these religious people where they're like, God has blessed me so much. And that's why I want to give you $33 billion if you'll just give me a FedEx number so I can FedEx it to you. Thank you, you godly woman. Who are these idiots? And more importantly, it's not like the fact that these emails are so stupid and then they go on Craigslist. It's like 
If you're gonna take that much effort to try to scam people out of money, why don't you get yourself a J-O-B? What a moron, who are these people? Do these people have wives? Do their wives and, you know, or if they're women, do they have husbands and they go, yeah, honey, I'm gonna go off and steal other people's money. Yeah, okay, have a good day, bye-bye. Do they train their kids? Like, when you grow up, little one, you can be just like your mommy and steal everyone's money and have no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No scruples whatsoever or integrity. Isn't that awesome? Just like your dad and I. <laughs> we met because I robbed him. Mm. People are freaking crazy. All right, I need to go get myself out of this bad mood. I'm gonna go eat some chocolate. Just kidding. I'm gonna have a chocolate protein shake. I'm serious.